Hi, this is Tim from Dim Drive with a quick video on how the real-time syncing works with Dim Drive. Now, the real-time syncing enables you to modify a file on the Dim Drive RAM drive and have that file right back to your normal hard drive right away in real time. This means that if you're playing a game, for example, Castle Story or Call of Duty or whatever it is, and you have like a, a save file, for example, that save file will exist on your RAM drive the dim drive and then the real-time file sync will write it back to your hard drive that way if your computer powers off or crashes or whatever that file will not be lost so we're going to demonstrate it real quick in a really easy way i'm going to enable castle story in dim drive and then we are going to turn dim drive on and we have it set to 10 gigs in size on my r drive and if we go back to castle story here We'll show you that it is just set for the default more RAM and the um, file syncing to be enabled. So we're going to turn it on here. And you'll see Dim Drive is now set up in Castle Story. Uh, so what we can do is if we were to go to the library for this particular game and browse the local content, whoops, properties, whew. Didn't want to click that button. Browse the local content here, and let me bring up this window. Here we go. We will see that Castle Story in Steam has a symbolic link set. We go over to the properties to our R drive, which is Dim Drive. And let's just bring this over here and locate my R drive. Here we go. So this is Dim Drive we can see it's actually called Dim Drive. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna simulate as if we were to play a game and have the game create a save file. So we're just gonna put these windows over here for a moment. Let's keep the Castle Story window up. Properties, local files, let's just keep this right here. So let's say we're playing Castle Story and we create a, um, looks like I have a couple test files. Well, let's say we save the game and create a save game file. So what we're going to do, we're going to do new and we're going to do text document. And we're going to call it save game one. So we have a new file. Let's say we save our game in whatever the video game is. And again, we're on our dim drive or our drive right here. And you'll notice here in the sync, you see this thing that says sync and it says save game one. It tells you that the R drive, this new text file, save game one.txt, which is again the dim drive, it says that it synchronized it. So let's go back into Steam here. Let's browse local files. And we go back to the common directory, which is where all of our Steam games are installed. You notice that we have a pre-sync and a post-sync directory for Castle Story. The pre-sync is dim drive's way of ensuring that you never lose any files for the actual game because Dim Drive will make a copy of those files on your hard drive. So this is just part of Dim Drive's uh, way of maintaining integrity. Then you have a post sync. Now in our post sync, this shows all the files that have been changed or modified or new or what have you. So you see that there's a now a save game one dot text and it is in this post sync directory. This is on my actual normal F drive, which is where all my games are installed. So what happens again, for example, we played Castle Story and we theoretically created a save game file on Dim Drive. Dim Drive synced that directly from the R drive, which is our Dim Drive, and it put it in this post sync file or post sync folder. Now, if we were to turn off Dim Drive, for example, let's just close these directories here and we are going to exit out of all of this and we're going to turn off Dim Drive. So Dim Drive is cleaning up all the symbolic links, removing those post and pre-sync directories. And now this is, a, this is our F drive. This is our non-Dim drive. This is our normal hard drive. If we go into the Castle Story directory, we are gonna see a new file in here now called savedgame1.txt. So that means that this file that used to exist on Dim Drive now exists on the actual normal mechanical hard drive that existed prior to setting up Dim Drive. And we're gonna do one more test here. So we're gonna pretend Castle Story is the game that we're gonna do a save game on. So we're gonna bring this over here and we are going to click on. And so Dim Drive set it and everything up again. 
And once again, we now see the pre-sync directory and then we see the actual symbolic link. Dim drive sets all this up automatically. This goes to our R drive. We go on over to our R drive. Once again, we have Castle Story. Now let's pretend for a moment that we resave or do a new save game. So this is our dim drive. So we're editing the file directly on the dim drive. So we're gonna put um, test brand new save file. So we're just gonna edit this text file, test brand new save file. We're gonna save it. And what we're doing is we're testing the make sure to make sure that this writes back to the original directory that uh, exists for uh, Castle Story. So we see now it's synced save game one dot text and dim drive automatically looks constantly for uh, new files that have changed and it sees we change save game one dot text so now what we're going to do we're just going to close this and we're going to turn dim drive off so we simulated creating a new save game file and we're going to go into steam we're going to right click we're going to go back to here and browse the local files and what we're going to do is we're going to test if that sync actually existed if that new text file has been modified. So if the sync happened correctly, and again, if we if we go to here, we can see that this is our F drive, and my F drive is not dim drive, it is a four terabyte mechanical hard drive. So if we edit this, and sure enough, it says test brand new save file. So what we've just, just done here is we've verified that dim drive will look at file changes or new game save files or whatever it is, and when it sees a difference, it will take that new file and write it back to the original hard drive, which for me is the F drive. And should we save over that file, maybe we make a new save game or we modify a save game or maybe the game updates itself. Maybe there's a patch that modifies whatever it is. We just verify that that modification is written back to your normal hard drive. So if my PC should crash at any point when I do my save game, this file is written back and I don't lose that data. So this was a quick demonstration of how Dim Drive does the real-time sync, and I hope this answers any questions anybody should have and gives you a little bit of a sense of security in that if your PC crashes, you do not lose that save game or you do not lose that, maybe it's a Photoshop document that you've created, or you do not lose anything. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any more questions, please go to forums.dimdrive.com or go to the Steam discussion page and ask your question and either myself or the general community will do our best to answer it. Happy gaming.